Shabbat Shalom and welcome to Olive Tree Community Spokane. The following recording is from this week's teaching on the parashat or portion from the Torah. You can find more details on this parashat and the scriptures being referred to in the pull-down menu below. Shabbat Shalom Olive Tree Community. I'm Wade O'Connor. I'll be doing the parasha. It's that. I, uh, you know, I, I have uh, spoken numerous times actually on this particular parsha. It's a uh, it's interesting, Kedashim, uh, holy ones. We're, we're called by God to be holy, uh, as he is holy. And, uh, of course, getting a, getting a grasp on that uh, is always interesting. I, I want to just start by saying, <clears throat> I believe that the Bible is the word of God, and it is the truth. It is his truth, his message to us. We are created by God. Uh, mankind fell, we are all under sin, and he made a way of salvation and redemption for us. That way, of course, is Yeshua. And I just want to preface <clears throat> what I'm going to say with the fact that I know, I believe, and I am thankful for the fact that when Yeshua died on that cross, he forgave all of our sins. Mm -hmm. All of our sins. Every sin. I don't care how horrible it might be, what it was. How many times someone did it? If, if they accepted Yeshua, they are forgiven. Amen. And uh, so that being said, uh, again, looking at the idea of being holy as, as God is holy. We know that in, in Matthew, I believe it's 548, he, he tells the people he's talking to to be perfect, just as your father in heaven is perfect. Now that word is teleos. Uh, it carries the same exact idea. He's saying the same thing. And, and basically, <clears throat> when you go study the words, it, it is about integrity. It is about uh, thinking, speaking, and acting along one line. Right? You know, I've, I've always found it interesting that, uh, you know, the, the Greek word for actor is hypocrite, right? Uh, you know, because they, they're two faces, right? You, you see the whole picture of the Greek idea of, you know, comedy and tragedy, the two faces and everything. Um, you know, I, I have been a hypocrite plenty of times in my whole life, in my own life. I'm sure all of us have, have gone there. Uh, we're, we're living in a culture <clears throat> with a lot of hypocrites. <clears throat> I. You know, so we have a part of this portion talks about idols in the, the occult. And of course, I don't believe in coincidences. The very fact that uh, in this country right now, this last week, we've had this issue with Roe v. Wade uh, and, and everything about it, the way that it was leaked, uh, the the arguments that are being made uh, about Roe v. Wade, what it is, how it came about, what it means, and, and what it would mean if it is overturned. You know, there are, are just so many lies. But, and, and actually, you know, I was discussing this with Barbara yesterday. Um, wow. Um, you know, there are plenty of people who say, number one, 
you know, men should just keep their mouth shut on this whole subject. Uh, but, you know, I see in, in Leviticus 20 that there's a whole paragraph, two paragraphs here about Molech. And, you know, the idea that the, the people of Israel were commanded to not give their children to Molech. That, that, was, that was an affront to God, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm, because, and especially the firstborn is sanctified to God. And so often it was the firstborn who was being offered up. I'm going to tell you that, you know, there is not a woman in this world who has had an abortion that there isn't a man who is equally responsible Amen. for that. Right? Uh, if nothing else, as a man, I know I can speak to other men and certainly to boys, and I certainly have spoken to my own boys about not being involved sexually with a woman, creating a child, and, and even contemplate, even considering the possibility of aborting that child, right? And, and of course, you know, hey, we all speak to our children. I, I, <laughs> I have fallen short. So many times, right? I, I cannot say that Barbara and I, you know, I, we got, I got married and I've been married 50 years. I've been married, Barbara is my <laughs> third one. I, I have lived with women not being married to us. I have sinned, I, you know. I have tried to uh, impart to my own boys that they should not do that my daughters as well. And yet, you know, um, mm. they get to make their own choices. I, I pray for them as well. The point is, we are called to be holy. We are called to be perfect. Um, <laughs> I can be opinionated and that can come across as uh, judgmental as I am told. <laughs> uh, I look around I said, and, and I was not gonna go here this morning. Uh, I, I have to tell you, I, I believe, you know, I, I was just led uh, reading a few different things. One was a couple of different articles of of women who, uh, you know, are, are uh, well-known, they're celebrities, talking about how they had had abortions and they have no regrets, right, no regrets. I, I've talked to a lot of women who have had abortions and they all seem to have regrets. So, you know, uh, so, you know, then I, I was reading another article that was talking about the different churches that support, support abortion, uh, you know, with uh, varying amounts of rights, you know. And, and I mean, I, I get that, you know, there are realities in our world, right, that, uh, you know, people can make arguments for, you know, access to abortion. Uh, I see the people this week who want to and, and are militant in not just upholding Roe v. Wade, but making sure that there is just unlimited access to abortion. And I mean, I have heard things up to and including, you know, the right to an abortion seven days after birth. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I can say this, th those people, I see so much protesting out there and those people are militant and loud and destructive 
in their protesting. And I just want to remind everyone, I read in Galatians 5.22 that the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Against such there is no law. So we obviously need to stand for what is right. We, we need, you know, we, we need to be proclaiming to people that God has so much more and so much better for them than to, uh, you know, even need abortion, right? To avoid the conditions where you even have to think about having an abortion. These things are still going to come up, but what we can't be doing is, is what these other people are doing, and that's, you know, being hateful and vindictive, malicious. I mean, we are called to, to love and, and patience, and people should see our joy. The, the fact that this parsha came up today with the things that have been going on this week and Mother's Day being the moral, just did not seem to be a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. So, um, you know, and I know, I listened to my wife talking to her son, David, and I'm sure most of you know David's story. Uh, and, you know, and you heard her talk about <laughs> Natanya a minute ago, and Natanya has, you know, come a long way. And uh, I know her heartbreak over David. So, you know, again, I know that there are a lot of women who have faced this choice, and it is a difficult choice. God does not want that heartbreak for them. And uh, whatever, whatever we can do in, in our community, in our, you know, our connections, our relationships, to share the love of Yeshua and, and just the destruction of the enemy. Uh, it's incumbent upon us to do that. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. For more info about Olive Tree Community, visit olivetreecommunitiespokane.com. Join us on Messianic Joy Radio via live365.com for more Messianic music and teaching. To help present our videos to new viewers, please like, share, or leave a comment on this video. If you'd like to receive regular updates on our videos, please subscribe and use the notification bell. Shabbat Shalom from Olive Tree Community Spokane.